Hello friend. What is GMRS you may ask? Seems like a simple question. I've done a lot of videos on GMRS lately and I still get questions, basic questions from people who still just don't understand what GMRS is. I blame myself. I probably haven't explained it well enough. Fear not. Randy's going to explain it to you in simple terms that everybody can understand. But first, the results of another scientific poll that I posted on YouTube a few days ago. The question was, if you could choose just one, which would it be? 13% of people chose cat, 87% chose dog, which proves scientifically what everybody already knew. Dogs are better than cats. You cannot dispute this. This is a scientific poll. But if you disagree, leave a comment. Let us know how on earth you could think a cat is better than a dog. So what is GMRS? Imagine if CB radio and ham radio got naked. The resulting love child would be GMRS. GMRS is like CB radio 2.0 or ham for dummies. GMRS has a lot of improvements that ham offers, but with the simplicity of CB radio. GMRS is not ham radio. What? I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking about you. We know that you're smart. We know that ham is better. We can tell by all the 10 paragraph long comments you always leave on my videos. You're very smart. We know it. We're all very impressed. God, you're a whiny bitch. <laughs> most people that use GMRS, not always, but mostly, GMRS is used in groups. Off-roading, hiking, paintball, airsoft, whatever you call it. It's when you've got a group of people or just two people and you want to be able to talk to each other. Just like with CB radio. A lot of people use GMRS for emergencies. I'll talk more about that in a minute. To use GMRS, you do need a license from the FCC. It is not a ham license. There's no test. It's like a fishing license. You basically pay the FCC for the privilege of using our free airwaves. You go to their website, you create an account, you give them your credit card. I'll leave a link below to a website with step-by-step -step instructions of how to do it. The cost for the license is $70, and that's good for 10 years. The FCC has announced that they will be reducing the cost of that license to $35. As of the end of February, 2021, that has not yet gone into effect. It has been announced, but it hasn't happened yet. So if somebody posts a comment saying that they've lowered the price and they don't leave a link to a source saying that it's done, it's just another idiot, ignore it. It is gonna happen. Nobody knows when it's going to happen, but it will be soon. So currently $70 for 10 years, soon it will be $35 for 10 years. The license covers your entire family you get one call sign. They don't send you a piece of paper or anything. On the website where you sign up, you go back and check after a day, maybe two days. Occasionally it might take three or four days, but it's usually within a day. They will assign you a call sign and you share that same call sign with your entire family. When you're transmitting, you have to identify with that call sign at the end of your transmission or at least once every 15 minutes if you're having a long conversation. GMRS is a band or a range of frequencies, just like CB radio. The frequencies are just above the ham 70 centimeter band, but you don't need to worry about any of that. You don't, with GMRS, you don't have to think about frequencies or offsets or anything complicated. The whole idea with GMRS is that it's very simple so that even people like us can understand it. GMRS is a standard, so any GMRS radio can talk to any other GMRS radio. It has 22 channels, and most GMRS radios, if it's a repeater-capable GMRS radio, has eight more channels set aside for repeaters. GMRS is in the UHF band. It means it's a high frequency, so you can use any UHF antenna if you're installing a GMRS radio, say, in your vehicle. If you use a UHF antenna, you will have to trim and tune that antenna specifically to the GMRS frequencies. If you purchase a GMRS-specific antenna, it should be pre-tuned and pre-cut. You shouldn't have to do anything. A real GMRS radio, like the Ocean KG805G, affiliate links below, will have 22 channels and is usually very simple to use. You can see there's hardly any buttons on this radio. There's a up and down button, a volume button, channel changing button. 
Very simple. Usually when you're talking to somebody, you just tell your friend to go on channel whatever. You can pick any channel. There are some power limitations on certain channels. We use channel 16. I've done a whole video about that on why channel 16 is the best channel, but you can pick any channel. Tell your friend to use the same channel and you're talking to each other. Talking radio to radio, you can usually get a range of easily one to five miles, but it depends on what's in between you and the conditions, so it can vary greatly. But in general, you can get a one to five mile range. If you're using a GMRS repeater, that will extend your range vastly up to hundreds of miles. But the person that you're talking to at the other end has to be in range of the repeater. You both have to be in range of the repeater and you both have to be configured to use that same repeater. If you want to learn more about repeaters and how they work and who owns them and that sort of thing, check out that video. The range on GMRS is line of sight. So the radio waves can't go through mountains and don't go well through buildings and things like that. So if you can see the person that you want to talk to, you'll be able to reach them. Using this specific radio, I've talked to people 26 miles away. That was direct, perfect line of sight, perfect conditions. If there's something in between you, like a mountain or a bunch of trees or buildings, that's going to reduce your range quite a bit. If you have one of these, this is a Baofeng UV5R. This is not a GMRS radio. You can talk to GMRS radios using this. It's got a lot more buttons than the real GMRS radio. This is more of a ham radio. Although you can program it to talk to GMRS radios, it is illegal to do so. Check out that video to learn more about why and what will happen if you use a UV5R to talk on GMRS. Because it's a ham radio and not a GMRS radio, you do have to worry about frequencies. And if you're using a repeater, you have to know and calculate the offsets. It's a lot more difficult than using a regular real GMRS radio. This type of radio, you have to know what frequency you want to talk on and, and punch that frequency in. Now you could look the frequencies up on Google and program each one in and save it uh, in the memory to make it easier, but it's still a pain in the butt to use one of these for GMRS. And like I said, to use a repeater, it's even more complicated where everything on a real GMRS radio is much simpler. Talking on GMRS is just like talking on a CB radio. There's no special language or lingo or anything that you have to say or do. Children are also allowed to use it, so you have to watch what you say and watch your language. In other words, don't be a dickhead act like a grown-up. And really the only thing that you have to do is announce your call sign at the end of a transmission or if you're having a long conversation at least once every 15 minutes. A lot of people have bought GMRS radios and they plan to use them in an emergency. I've seen comments posted on my videos and other videos that they've bought them and they've thrown them in their uh, emergency bag and when the shit hits the fan they're just gonna pull them out and they're gonna use them to call for help. And that's great if you know what you're doing. So don't think that if you have a GMRS radio, you're just gonna take it out of the box and turn it on and call 911. It doesn't work that way. There are no emergency responders that listen in on GMRS. So if you're gonna use GMRS for an emergency, you need to know who you're gonna call and they need to know that you're gonna be calling them and you need to know what channel you're both gonna be on. If you're both gonna be using a repeater, you need to have your radios configured to use that repeater and you. You need to plan it out. You need to have a plan. And also bear in mind that in a real shit hit the fan situation, and I don't mean when you can't find toilet paper at the grocery store, I mean real shit hit the fan like Rick Grimes running up and down the street. Some repeaters may not be working, so you need to also have a plan B. But don't think that you're gonna just pull this radio out of the bag and start calling for help. You need to have a plan and you need to have a plan B in case plan A doesn't work. Some people even have a plan C. That's it. GMRS is really pretty simple. A lot of people tend to overthink it. You don't have to. That's why I like it. Less thinking. I'm sure I missed something. And if I did, please leave a comment below. If you have a question, if I didn't explain something clearly or have failed you, again, leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Stupid comments will be pinned to the top for everybody to enjoy. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the trail.